Well, we've had some odd pronouncements coming out of Saudi Arabia recently. Fatwas against snowmen springs to mind. The fact that Western women don't care if they get raped simply because they're driving is another classic Saudi pronouncement. But this latest one from a Saudi cleric seems to almost pose more questions or pose as many questions as it seems to answer. And here's why. He has said in a recent video that the earth doesn't move. The earth is stationary. And rather than the earth revolving around the sun, the sun revolves around the earth. Let's take a look at the video and then talk about how he is really seeing to, seeking to unwind 500 years of scientific thinking. أولاً نحن الآن في أين نذهب إلى مطار الشارقة نريد أن نذهب إلى الصين بالطيارة واضح ركزوا معي هذه الأرض إذا قلتم أنها تدور إذا خرجنا من مطار الشارقة برحلة دولية إلى الصين الأرض تدور صح طيب لو وقفت الطائرة في السماء أليست الصين تأتي صح ولا لا تدور تأتي الصين ولا ما تأتي طيب لو كانت الشمس الأرض تدور هكذا لو تمشي الطيارة ما أدري كم تمشي لن تستطيع أن تلحق الصين لأن الصين تدور وأنت تدور ولن تستطيع أن تصل إلى الصين لأنك تدور وهي تدور فكيف تصل إلى الصين؟ So this cleric is called Sheikh Al Kabari. He also, Mark, just before you say anything, he also rejected NASA's lunar excursions as Hollywood puff. Okay. So, I mean, you're with him on that one, That's, right? No, not uh, not not me, but this. Not unlike a lot of a lot of, of skeptics, uh, Americans and Christian fundamentalists. So I'm just saying that he's not alone in the world. So I, uh, one from one, how do you feel about this second one about well, so Earth he's, being he, stationary? And he's he's, he's pre-Copernicus. He's in a pre-Copernicus state of mind here. Correct. But he's using airplanes to prove his theory. Yeah. See if airplanes couldn't. If, if the they world, stopped moving, the world the, was rotating. It would catch up with it. Somehow it would catch up with ourselves. Yeah. It all makes sense. Yeah, except it doesn't when you throw in that awful, awkward thing called science. Here's what the naked scientist came from Cambridge University has to say on the mat. He's, they say the atmosphere is moving with the surface of the Earth below it because there's friction. Remember friction? You continue to move with the surface of the Earth, so there's no difference flying with the rotation of the Earth or against it. Now, my question, what I don't understand, and why, I mean, it's really super easy to jump on this and go, oh, how ridiculous, and this is really stupid. And, but, and of course, it, it is somewhat ludicrous. But my question is, why would he say this? I don't understand, because Islam is one of the, is the most science-friendly of any of the religions. It's always had a sort of, it takes a holistic approach to science and sees it as a sort of pursuit of knowledge and a pursuit of God's will and all those types of things. So why he would go out of his way to say this, is it, it, that escapes me. I'm going to account, I'm just going to call it Islam bashing, uh, you know. But the, I'm not, that's exactly not, what I'm trying to avoid doing, even though it's as silly as it is. Well, he's, he's an example of maybe somebody who, who's a little bit off base, but you can just, I'm just, saying in our own country, in the United States, there are people who have uh, ra radical beliefs as well that defy science. So, you know. Well, Christian scientists being, being one, perhaps, are just refusing antibiotics. I mean, that type of thing, is that, is that what you're referencing? Or just a you belief know, the system? dinosaurs that were 6,000 uh, yeah, years true. old. Yeah, true, I forgot about that one, yeah. Uh, Other uh, similar classics. Yeah, you know. So I think it's, I mean, you're right. It's, it's been highlighted, obviously, because of the sensitivity at, at the moment. It's just a really curious view to take. And unfortunately, he's, I mean, it's not been taken out of context. The, the, the unfortunate thing is he then goes and has this sort of practical demonstration and try to articulate his view. I, my understanding was he, he drew it from other scholars and drew it from some passages in the Quran. But again, to your point, we've seen how that can be drawn from the Bible and Christian fundamentalists, etc. All you have to do is watch a Bugs Bunny episode to know. The world, she's around her like it's a base of ball, right? She's not a flat like it's a pancake. This is true. This is true. Wise words, wise words. All right, let us know your thoughts. As I said, Islam and science have always actually been the one religion that has actually supported scientific endeavor and respected it. So it's very strange why you would make these comments. Let us know your thoughts. Thanks for being with us here. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the Lib TV.